Hey guys, Morten here. I'm just coming here from the opening ceremony at BlizzCon. There's like 30 minute gap between the end of the opening ceremony and the next thing. And I was crazy enough to actually like go to the hotel room in that 30 minute break, make a video for you guys and go back. And the reason for this is because I got to play Heroes of the Storm. It was one of the first things I did when I got access there. I was one of the first people playing it. And I want to share my experience with it. Now Heroes of the Storm is pretty much a Blizzard mobile game. And it's going to be like for the first time in Blizzard history, combining the different games like Warcraft here, Malfail from Diablo, and this is a Starcraft character, and Heroes of the Storm is gonna have characters from all different universes. It combines the Starcraft, Warcraft, and Diablo universe for the first time in history. And pretty much it's a mobile game, 5 vs 5. I'm gonna talk about the differences to other MOBAs soon, but first I wanna show you some of the characters that you can play. Now, um, that's a quick overview of some characters. Nova, Kerrigan, Illidan, Falstad, um, who else was interesting? But Furion, Ufa, Arthas, the Lich King, Tyrell, and, uh, wait, wait, there's the female barbarian, and you have Diablo. And guess who I played in the beta session? I played Diablo, of course, which is kind of like a melee character with some abilities. He has, for example, like his ultimate is a global ultimate that stuns everyone, regardless of the map where they are, for two seconds and deals some damage to them. And I should use this to like help my other lane um, win the team fight while I was somewhere completely different. Now, the game itself is so much fun. I mean, differences um, or major differences to League of Legends, which I've been playing recently, are, for example, if you have a level one character, you already have all your free abilities. And then as you level up, you just make them stronger and stuff. It's not going to be like League of Legends where you start like with one ability, then you get level two, you get a second one, and so on. Like you have everything to start, which like means that the skill level, even at level one fights, is already much higher because you have to like use more abilities. Um, what hasn't been in the game yet was like the item system. Like, it's just basic. Like you play, you fight, you kill monsters, get experience, and kill players and go for objectives, of course. But Obviously in the future they're gonna have item system as well. It's just not the game is not at that level yet. Now I was playing the game, five v five, I played Diablo. I guess the other team was so much fun, like I even got like killing Street one time. I think five killing a uh, five killing Street is um I got mayhem achievement and I don't know, I just really loved the game, helping out other lanes, playing with others, ganging on people. Like when I was catching someone in the jungle, that's another thing, like the jungle is completely different than from League. It's not just like killing creatures and maybe get some buffs. No, it's like if you do something, there's something amazing happens. For example, you get teleported to another map. Like, um, that's another thing. There's different maps. Like League of Legends only has one map, the Summer's Rift, that's being played competitively. In Heroes of the Storm, it's actually going to be that you have to play different maps all at high level. In a tournament, it could be any of those maps. In one map, for example, um, you get teleported. Like, if you um, get some objectives done, in the outside world, you get teleported to a special area where you have to like play and fight against dragons. And if you actually succeed in that event, then you actually get a buff that you can choose or uh, transfer to one of your players on the team. Like in the five player team, one gets the buff and if he gets it, like this person transforms into a dragon that's actually gets new abilities and is really, really strong. Like he, I, he could was able to 2v1 stuff. And I don't know, the game just really fun. I've always been waiting for a MOBA game from Blizzard because, you know, the big ones now are Dota, um, League of Legends, and to some extent, but smaller Heroes of New Earth. But I think Blizzard knows how to make games. The game was so much fun, even at this early level, and yeah, I really want to play it now. Now, first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to sign up for the beta, and who knows, maybe we're going to be able to test the game soon. But yeah, um, now the rest for the day, like the, all the panels, the big announcer for WoW, for Diablo, for Hearthstone. Hearthstone is going to get a new ranked um, tournament mode for Arena. So basically they want to like make Arena competitive, which is really, really cool. You can even like win golden character portrays there. And Diablo comes um, at the end of the day, but before Heroes of the Storm. There's going to be two more panels about that. And then I'm also going to test Diablo stuff. Um, but yeah, it's been really cool so far. I need to get back now to BlizzCon. Um, next show starts in five minutes and meanwhile I'm gonna upload this video so I'm gonna thank you all guys for watching for checking out my videos or pictures on Facebook and stuff and I'll keep you guys up to date thanks for watching I'll be back